Good morning. It's February 7th or 6th. I know I've seen the 6th on the date already. Is this recording? It probably is. Oh, it's not that early. It's Friday morning. Yeah. And, um, Well, last night I did the Improv Jam with Morgan. Morgan has hosted the Improv Jam for about three years now. And he typically hosts it with somebody named Cole Strat. Oh, I gotta get up. And uh, they were out, so, you know, I decided I would help co-host with Morgan. The thing that I forget is every year that goes on, the theater gets more and more popular. But... The jam where anybody can throw their name into a bucket and then everybody will get a scene and we give those people a good, you get a good scene. Let me turn the light on. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh, and then you turn the, uh, so everybody gets, everybody gets at least like a three or four minute scene, right? We had almost 40 people in the bucket last night and we do three person scenes. So that's like. Here's the bottom line. I didn't leave the theater last night until 1.30 a.m. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. But I'm tired. I am too tired to game. I am supposed to have Morgan over here today. I'm going to give him a call, I guess. Oh, boy, where's my phone? There it is. Give me one second. He's not going to pick up the phone. I gotta tell him that today we have extra time. Um, my lovely lady is more than happy to allow uh, a full day of gaming to happen at the apartment. So we're gonna get started. Ooh, I feel good. It's time to get some stretches on. I don't think you can tell, but I do have pajamas. They're super wear, Superman uh, like pajamas. But nine times out of ten, I just sleep in my underwear. How bad do I look right now? Not gonna show you. Not gonna show you. You don't want to see it anyways. You don't want to see that filth. A man in his skinnies. All right. Let's just see. Really quick. So a lot of times I don't pick my permanent outfit in the morning. The first thing I do is put on something that I don't care if it gets dirty or stinky, uh, because I don't pick my real clothes until I take a shower. I think that that's probably normal, but I don't think many people have as much downtime in the morning as I have. Like, if you have to be at work at 7 a.m., you don't probably wear an outfit before that. You just take a shower and go to work. But I gotta ease into the morning, you know what I mean? It's not so, it's not so bad. It's like basically getting into a, a, a lukewarm tub and uh, putting it on boil. Now you jump into a boiling tub and it's going to hurt. But a good slow boil mm, takes the skin right off. Where are my Superman pajama pants? It's two pairs of clothes a day. How many pairs do you wear a day? Stop judging me. Two pairs of clothes a day is fine. I don't wash it every time. More often than not, I only wash it if it smells bad. A shirt like this, I'll probably wash this. But my shirt with a tie, I don't wash that every time. No way. I wash it if it smells bad or after I do an improv show. <sighs> well, right now it happens to be actually clean, like wrinkly clean. Wrinkly clean is in it came from the washer and then the dryer. This is a, a crazy, crazy morning wake up. This is this is how I wake up. Let me just show you something. This is uh, this might shed some light on 
I'm the kind of person I am. You know how people, like, they say, oh, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. It's impossible for me to wake up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm just that cheery. And I sleep next to a wall. <laughs> and there's also a dog. There are times where I am, like, just... I'm up against this wall like this and I'm sleeping and I'm like, oh, I just wish there was some way for me to enjoy myself. And I sometimes, I'll, you know, you know what happens. You try to raise your hand in a dream, but instead you're, you're knuckling the wall. I'd rather sleep on the outside of the bed. But it doesn't happen. Uh, it doesn't happen. I gotta get started with my day. I don't have time for this right now. Thanks for tuning in. This is the